Essentia mirrors. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, got the spell going here. It's drinking from the potion bottles. It's breaking down the iron and all that good stuff. There is my first magic mirror, which is so awesome. I cannot wait. Well, I'm just going to make automating this a whole heck of a lot easier. Okay, and the second one. Hopefully it won't crash this time, but oh yeah! Essential mirror now. This is going to be the cool part. Cool, now what I'm going to do with this is I want to put one directly above this in the center of the room. I'm going to take these back and I'm going to put one in the room with all the pepper jaws. All right, now this one I kind of want to put there. Is that going to impede my ability to go back and forth? Destination is obstructed. It sure is. Okay, so whoops, that's not my plum tower. And also, just realized I did not, I did not clicky click these on each other. I have to link them by right clicking. Oh, whew. oh! For a second there, I thought it disappeared. <laughs> that right there so now what that should do is when I'm in the other room and I need to start a ritual it should suck automatically stuff from these jars right up through here and into the other room all right after looking at this for weeks I'm finally gonna make a brain in the jar so brain two spider eyes and water all right, so here's my brain, my spider eyes, my water, and then a warded jar in the middle. So we'll put the brain there, spider eye, water, spider eye. And we should be able to just give it a knocky knock, and then we should see it sucking through there what it needs from the other room. I hope. Yep, there it is. It's working. Oh my Christmases. That is so cool. Nice. There it goes. It's sucking it from the other room. Ha! Huh. Amazing. Oh, there goes the water bucket. There goes the spider eyes. Uh oh. I gained some warp though, but I got my brain in a jar. <laughs> I love it. I have no idea what it's for, but I wanted one so much. Uh, cool. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, I know one thing to do with it, actually. We'll look at it. Look at that. Oh, it's looking at me. looking at me <laughs> it's looking at me that's awesome for now I'm going to display him proudly in the pear tower with the rest of my knickknacks he is <laughs> he seems pretty upset to be in there to be honest All right, and there is the tentative look for my Arcane or uh, infusion altar, arcane altar, infusion altar. Uh, I think I think I like it. I do actually like it a lot. I kind of want to get rid of the torches. I don't know what sort of lighting I want to put in here though. All right, I've decided I'm going to stick my other magic mirror, the item one, 
right up here above this furnace. So there's nothing in here. And let's go back to my main storage room up here in the attic. And let's take a piece of sand. And let's try this out here. So if I throw this into the magic mirror, it disappears and it should go into the furnace. Now, if it did, okay, I don't see it on the ground, and boom. So now, uh, this is pretty cool. So now while I'm standing here in my study and I'm like sorting through my bag at the end of the day, I, instead of instead of even using this furnace, unless I really want to, I can just go ahead and toss a bunch of stuff. Oh, awesome. Now we've got the clockwork mines, which basically opens up a whole bunch of nice golem stuff. <laughs> I don't even know where to go, but I want to go there. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. Okay. First, before I can do anything, I need one of these. Cauldron, iron bar, piston, anvil, stone table. Making a golem press. And the peach tower is going to be the location of the golem stuff. I have no idea what stuff is actually in here. It's just another Salus Mundus. Oh, now I got a golem press. I have no idea how to use it yet. Ooh, cool looking stuff in here though. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is actually start with block breaking. Because I'd actually like to... I'd like the golem to be able to mine for me. I think that would be pretty cool. So... What are control seals? All right, so now I've got two magic mirrors hooked up. The top one is intended to take the uh, the gear essentia up to the peach tower where I've got the golem press. <clears throat> so it's going to be helpfully taking machine machina machina. Now I'm going to try to create a basic golem, and I don't really know which one to start with. So I guess I'm gonna go with maybe the maybe the iron golem. Alright, I think I have all the materials. Yes I do. Um I am ready to begin. I want to see the animation. It like looks pretty cool. It's steaming up the joint. There's no progress indicator, but that's okay. I don't know if this is going to take a minute or an hour. Let's see. Aha! I have come to learn what my friend Ajario here does. Apparently, he will soak up... Um, experience orbs so for example if I place him over here by my furnace uh, and I throw in something that will smelt like a bunch of this stuff here it will start smelting it down and then as experience comes out it should be going into him. You can see it flash here. And now, if I right click him, it releases the experience. So what I can do, that's Forge Master Brainiac. <laughs> what I can do is just throw a bunch of stuff into the forge and I know that I won't lose that experience and then when I go over there to collect it, I'll have the experience all to myself. Well, my brain will collect it for me. 
All right, and we're making something with this fancy belt by putting emeralds and written books. This is something very educational, so kids, you should tune in to this one. And let's put our caster's gauntlet on our fisty, and here we go. Hopefully this will work out well. It should be nice and stable. This is a big spell. It needed a lot of stuff, as you can see. It's going to take a little while. While that's cooking, I'm actually going to double check on my golem. Oh! No. No change. How freaking long does a golem take, man? This, is, this has been pressing for like almost an hour real time. A little bit worried about that. This is still going. So there's all the brain power. Now it's going to put void, which I think protects from, like, uh, protects the brain from warp and then trap, like, holds it all together. <laughs> I'm making that up. But that's what it does. I promise. And then we should see these things starting to get evaporated <laughs> in a moment. In a moment now. 26, 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. Suck the stuff. There we go. There goes a book. There goes an emerald. There goes a book. There goes an emerald. An emerald. Book. So cool. And we should have... Da, 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 da. The Headband of Curiosity, which, oh shoot, I can't have it at the same time as my goggles. Okay. So, <laughs> oh goodness, it looks kind of dorky, but that's okay. Basically, what it will do is, as I gather experience, it will use some of that experience to give me different, uh, different knowledges in here. At least that's what I believe it will do. And I figured out what I was missing from my uh, ro robot, my uh, golem table. I was missing the infuser, which sucks in. <laughs> there it goes. Sucks in the, uh, the stuff. And all well, that was really quick. We have our first golem. Oh, I call him Chubby. <laughs> All right, meanwhile, let's take a look at the new cuckoo clock that I have. Instead of a little gargoyle, I wanted something that was more visible. So I brought a friend. <laughs> okay, we're going to be enchanting this fancy amulet. We're going to be using rare earth, a Victus crystal, milk, and I believe it's a terra crystal, herba. So we're going to go ahead and get our caster's gauntlet and uh oh, it sure was shaking a lot. All right, it's going to use up a bunch of the red then a bunch of Ordo and a bunch of Herba. So far so good. Uh oh. What? Do I not have enough? I had plenty of Ordo. Where'd my Ordo go? Okay. So, I'm not where I was, <laughs> but my inventory is such that my amulet and stuff is missing. I'm going to take a chance and go back there. Uh, actually, wait a second. Oh yeah, I have my golem. Okay, so this is stuck on Ordo, 
but I had Ordo. Okay. So, see. What the hell was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Wait. What? 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 How did that happen? How? Oh, sugar. What the heck just happened? My block broke. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What's that thing on my mini map? And why am I completely lag? What? What? Oh boy, I'm lagged. Oh, that was a piece of stone that broke. What is going on? My rare earth flew off. Oh, I know what happened. I think the spell took too long without the ordo, which really ticks me off because I had enough ordo. Yeah, all my stuff went flying. And it, it's like a record player getting unbalanced. It got all out of whack. Okay, well, I have a feeling what happened was because I ran out of Ordo, the quote-unquote record started to skip, if you will, because the spinning thing was just taking too long and it was getting unstable. And so somehow... Uh, then things started to go kablooey in there and fill up with taint, <laughs> and that's what crashed me until it was over. Now, I also happen to have some bath salts here, which are supposed to be calming to my mind. My warp-ridden mind. I don't know how to... Oh, am I out of water? Okay, that's full of water. Shift right click or shift click. What do you think, Gus? <laughs> Does it feel like this is working? Oh, it definitely mixed with the water. Perhaps I shouldn't have used an already full pool of water for my bath salts. Did the bath salts go away? <laughs> uh, don't mind the devil wings. Hmm. Oh, warp ward. Okay, now if I get out, am I good? Warp ward, okay. So I should, oh, okay. So I guess I should have done that before I did the crazy stuff.